Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about flights and its histories. Flying was in the dream of mankind from a very long period, and that dream has made him to write mythological stories all over the globe. In Greek, there's a story of Iraqus. In Arab, there's a story of Hussein. There's a story of Solomon. There's a story of Aladdin. who is a scarpet to fly and in india there is a story of pushpak viman used by ravan and in japan there is a demon called as fujin all these mythologies are due to the dream of mankind and that dream has not only made him to write mythological stories but also to do experiments and that experiment has resulted in a toy a cute toy called as kite we don't know when it was originated but we do know that it has been in use for more than 2000 years in china it has been used more than 2000 years and in indonesia in japan and in india it has been widely used this kite has reached western countries through monte carlo kite was not the only toy which has been invented there is another toy called as bamboo copter bamboo copter is something we have a bamboo stick and we have a bamboo rod inserted to it and if you rotate and lift it gets lifted off It's an helicopter technology, and kite is a flight technology. These inventions have been there in 400 to 500 BC, and now we have to go to 15th century in Italy. A person called Leonardo da Vinci. He said that with the body shape of human, we cannot able to fly as a bird. So he proposed a machine in which a pilot lies and he uses lever and pulley to flap the wings. Any object which is using flapping wing is called as ornithopter. Ornithopter was not successful in that period, but it is successful now. It has been used in various industries. After that, there have been lot of uh, experiments on flapping wings, but none of that was successful. We have to come to 17th century. To be more precise, it is November 21, 1783, when the first successful human lift has happened. It is done by brothers called as Montglofer brothers from France, and this flight lasted for 25 minutes, and that was a sustained flight in the history of aviation. And not only that, air balloons were the only means of human flight for the next hundred years. In same 17th century, a person called Sir George Calais, he said that only through fixed wing we can able to fly. Might be he got inspired from kites. He said fixed wing can able to produce lift, flapping wing can produce thrust, and tail can produce direction. Since he has described about the forces, we can also call him as father of aerodynamics. Gliders started using fixed wing. One of the famous glider in 1840 is Jean Marie Le Bris from France. What he has done is he has taken his glider in his horse cart and he has made his horse run in the beach and the glider gets lifted off. In the similar way how we take the kite in childhood and run and we make the kite fly right. Similar way he has done that. Jean Marie Le Bris glider was the first photographed glider in the history of aviation. In 1850s a person called Francis Herbert Wenham He designed a biplane, that is a two-wing model, as a glider. And while he was having the experiment on glider, his glider experienced gust. Gust is something a group of air that is forming in the sky. That air hit his vehicle, and by that the vehicle met into an accident. And that was the first flight accident in the history of aviation. So when I am not left by that, so he started making wind tunnel. Wind tunnel is something where you fix the model and you make the air flow over it. and experiences the forces that is a remarkable experiment which is been used widely even now now we are going to see one of my favorite person otto lilienthal he is from german in 1890s he was so famous and he is also called as glider king he has made more than 2000 flights he was so confident that he can able to fly but he wanted to make sure what happens after he is flying so he recorded each and every details of his flight he also pictured some and that picture has went all over the globe it has even reached right brothers and that was the second inspiration of right brothers the first was the bamboo copter which we saw earlier so uh, as lelianthal was doing lot of flight experiments it was again a bad day while he was flying about 50 feet his flight experience stall which is pitch up and it was a stability problem he couldn't able to bring it back and he fell down from 50 feet and he died his last dying words were sacrifice must be made such a inspirational person parallelly fixing engines to this glider has also happened in 1840 a person called as henson from england he published a paper using steam engine to the aircraft with two propellers it was only publications that model never flew as a person called as du temple from france in 1870 He has made a powered vehicle with the pilot, and that model lifted, but couldn't have a sustained flight. It fell off. Similarly, 
a person called as Alexander F. Moshashki from France in 1880. He also made a powered flight with the pilot and it lifted but couldn't have a sustained flight. It fell off. Since these two models did not have a sustained flight, we couldn't call them as a successful flight. And now the history is entering into American continent. A person called as Samuel Pierpoint Langley he is a famous person in that period. He was also a secretary of Smithsonian University. This university also plays a role. Langley was successful in making unmanned powered flight. He named those models as aerodrome. He made so many aerodromes. One of such aerodromes is aerodrome 4 and it was witnessed by Alexander Graham Bell himself. And his sixth aerodrome was witnessed by American president and by that demonstration Langley could able to pull off 50,000 US dollars for his project and that was a huge money at that period. And that was the time when Wright brothers were entering into the research. But they were very smart. Wright brothers straight away went to Smithsonian University. They collected all the literatures. And they also met another person called as Octave from Chicago. He was a historian at that period. He has collected the data from George Kelly till his point, all the histories he had. So Wright brothers used his friendship and they took his guidance to build a lot of experiments. They have made their own wind tunnel by using Venom's wind tunnel. They made Otto Lilienthal's tail into front to bring the stability back. So these experiments, they were it was happening from 1900 to 1903. And that was the time when Langley, that is Samuel Pierpoint Langley, has pulled the crowd saying that he is going to demonstrate his flight which is going to fly. On October 7, 1903, uh, Samuel Pierpoint Langley has called the crowd and he made his assistant Manley to be the pilot and that model lifted off but due to the structural failure it broke and fell down. Langley did not accept this failure. He said that it is because of poor takeoff. So they again made that experiment on December 8, 1903 and that was also a failure. Believe it or not, within 9 days, that is in December 17, 1903, the successful flight is coming out and that is Wright Brothers flight. And that made all the history. I'll add a little bit more to that story. The Langley's model which was a failure has been taken by Manley, his pilot and assistant. He has made 94 modifications to that model with Curtis. Uh, that model has flown successfully in 1914 but Smithsonian University said that this is a successful model and they kept that model as the first successful flight it was so disappointing moment for Wright brothers they were unhappy and they gave their model to some other university a small additional history to that point hope you like this video bye